Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this live webinar today of Admin Tools version 1.2 and uh, particularly our thumbnail generator, which is a great new tool that's come out and is being added to the product. Uh, many of you will probably be watching this in a follow up video. But, uh, thank you to anyone who was able to join us live today. So my name is David Hansen. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of GeoJob, and I'm Director for our Center for Research and Engineering, which is where we come up with a lot of the great products that our community base uses. Uh, we have developed uh, Admin Tools, Mapfolio, and also our Admin Tools for Portal product, which is the same as Admin Tools, but used with your portal on-premise or your ArcGIS enterprise. Uh, GeoJob is a company that's been around a while. We were founded in 1999, and we've been an Esri business partner since 2002. Uh, we have an ArcGIS Online specialty. We're an ArcGIS marketplace provider, which is where all of our products you'll see today are, uh, are you know, where they're all served out, where you can get a copy of them. And uh, the presentation today is pretty straightforward. We're going to do a short introduction, a quick overview of GeoJob, what our offerings are, very, very short there. And then we're going to take a look at Admin Tools version 1.2, including a live demo. We'll also discuss some of the changes that happened in 1.1, just to get an idea of recent updates that come out over the last year. Then we'll do a wrap up with a Q&A if anyone wants to ask some questions uh, that they would like. So what does GeoJob offer? Uh, we're a company that has three verticals. Uh, we have a software development vertical, an enterprise vertical, and a UAV UAS vertical. In our software development uh, vertical, we have products and professional services. Uh, if you're on this call today, you're probably a user of our admin tools uh, or our Mapfolio products and you're curious about admin tools. Uh, those are some great products that help you with ArcGIS Enterprise, that help you with ArcGIS Online, that help you either administer your organization or uh, be able to create a simplified picture of your organization in the case of Mapfolio for your end users. We also offer professional services if you're interested in custom application development or in having some automated scripts done. Uh, our software development team is great at that. Our enterprise team offers uh, Esri implementation of COTS configurable uh, products, such as if you like Survey123 or Collector, if you've seen demos of those, or Operations Dashboard, and you want to have those implemented inside of your organization, reach out to us, contact us. Uh, we can set up uh, experts to be able to get with you through that type of work. We also do strategic plans and best practices. Our enterprise team is responsible for what we do in partnership with Amazon, which is our shared hosting, which is where we can go and take some of your geospatial data and host it out to you either for internal or public consumption or dedicated hosting, which is a form of managed services where we give you your own box that you have absolute administrative access to, and we control it on the back end, keeping it up to date, keeping uh, you know, all of your software where it needs to be, any security updates, anything like that for you. That's an example of being able to bring your own license and then not having to worry about it don't worry about it, we got it in that case. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, reach out. Uh, third vertical is UAV UAS. We do uh, orthophotography, 3D modeling, including volumetric calculations and structure scans. Uh, we can collect uh, digital terrain uh, models, and also we can do right of way and uh, corridor analysis. And uh, I believe Neil Job is on the call today. If y'all have any questions about that towards the end, that's something uh, you know we're perfectly capable of talking about, answering questions around. But if you have some UAV needs, uh, please reach out to us. We have lots of information about that on our website. But these are the three areas where we focus. I'll go ahead and stop talking about that and transfer over to what y'all are here to hear about today, which is the Admin Tools uh, latest releases. So if you are not familiar with Admin Tools, it is a group of over 70 tools uh, that allow you to do bulk management of items, users, and groups inside of your organization or inside of your portal component of your ArcGIS enterprise. A lot of people also use us to clone content between two organizations. If you have content in organization A and you need to move it to organization B, we have a very slick solution that is able to move not only the content, but all of its dependent content as well. Some other examples of things you can do with admin tools is you can bulk add delete protection. We know that's very, very useful uh, for people. You can write a very simple filter or a very simple query inside of admin tools or a complex query if you want and uh, you'll be able to easily add delete protection to whatever you want. Uh, you can view item dependencies. If you ever had a layer in your organization, you wanted to know, hey, what web maps use this layer before I delete it or make a change to it or do any edits to it, you can easily find that out before, uh, you, know, before you do any of those changes or, or you know, do anything that's gonna impact it. Uh, it doesn't just work with layers, it works with web maps, it works with web apps, so you can see that entire chain of dependencies across your entire organization. Uh, that's an incredibly powerful tool. Uh, we have the ability to move all content from one identity to another. If you had someone who left your organization 
And as a result of them leaving your organization, you need to go ahead and take all their content and move it to a supervisor or move it to a new identity that will be replacing theirs in that role. Uh, we have tools that make that seamless, make that easy to do, make it a very simple process. We also add the ability to bulk add tags to items, users, and groups. Uh, there's lots of great things you do with admin tools. Like I said, there are over 70 things. I don't have time to get into all of them in the webinar today. In the webinar today, we're going to focus on version 1.1, 1.2, and particularly the thumbnail generator. So what happened in uh, 1.1? It came out in January, uh, January 17th. Uh, it added the ability to, one of the big new features there was the ability to bulk update the contents status. You can go through and find all the layers in your organization that are now in a deprecated state and mark it that way. So that way you can know, hey, um, this is old content that necessarily isn't the most up-to-date. Or if you have new authoritative content, you can mark all of that in bulk. You can easily find everything in a group and call it authoritative content or everything that matches a certain criteria. Um, we added all kinds of great improvements, including improvements to the way we handle thumbnails for the Living Atlas. So the update item thumbnail tool, which is uh, you know the ability to take a simple uh, PNG and apply it to multiple uh, multiple items as its thumbnail, uh, that has been uh, added support for Living Atlas, which I think is a wonderful thing. If you haven't checked out Esri's Living Atlas, please take a look at it. Uh, it's a wealth of information and data. Uh, we add the ability to uh, you know uh, take care of these content status. Uh, fields, which are, you know, this, this new concept that came out around that time period. We've added that across uh, all kinds of other tools, adding support, including our CSV tools. And we had a couple of bug fixes that came out in that patch. Uh, so that was a, a pretty succinct patch that was focusing on the ability to uh, control what uh, information is authoritative and deprecated inside of your organization. At 1.2, uh, we added the thumbnail generator, which you're about to get a live demo of. Uh, we added the ability for our portal users or admin tools for portal users to be able to, if they're an ArcGIS enterprise, re-index their portal searches, which is, uh, you know, excellent. It increases, uh, you know, stability, uh, time of search, all kinds of stuff. So wonderful additions there. Uh, we've added some great improvements by adding some new filters, including being able to filter by folder, which I know is something that a lot of our users have asked for. Um, and that brings me to a very important point. Uh, whenever you use the tools that are in the bottom right, which is the report a bug or request a feature, that's extremely important to us. Those requested features help us determine our product roadmap. That helps us determine where to go. And this was a feature that, or that an improvement rather, that came about as a result of a feature request from our community. Uh, we heard from several users, they wanted the ability to be able to filter by folder. Well, uh, now you have it. All you have to do is filter by an owner first, and then it gives an example of every single folder that's inside of there. You can pick whatever folder that particular owner has and be able to filter down to content just inside of that. We had massive improvements to our import and export uh, items, users, and groups. Uh, that was, uh, you know, our import export CSV tools are extremely powerful. Uh, a lot of our clients um, absolutely uh, tout the power and the ability they get from those, so that was wonderful. Uh, we also have a slew of bug fixes that came in 1.2, a lot of stability increasements there. Uh, once again, you know, primarily around the import, export, and CSV, which is a wonderful tool, and our copy item tool. Uh, you know, we, we added some new support there for certain edge cases where uh, it was getting a little confused. And we also, uh, you know, added some great support for uh, some of the new versions of Internet Explorer where, uh, where we were needing to, to kind of do a little polish there. And that just came out on June 8th, so relatively recent from this, uh, this presentation. So let's go ahead and jump into a live demo of the thumbnail generator. So if we were to go ahead and take a look at this here, um, we have, for those of you who use admin tools, you're used to this interface. We have the items, we have the group tools, and we have the user tools, and we have the workflow tool, where you'll find great things like clone, which I know a lot of our users use. But today we're gonna focus on the item tools and we're gonna focus on the thumbnail generator. So let's go ahead and jump into that. You'll notice that with most of our tools, you're normally presented with a filter first. Uh, but with Thumbnail Generator, you're, fil you're first shown an incredibly robust interface for developing your own thumbnails. Uh, we have five good possibilities for you out of the box. Uh, the first one applies just your logo and then uh, uh, image of the actual uh, web map, if it is a web map or a feature service, or a default uh, globe look, which we find is pretty clean and, and is very close to the default thumbnail that's offered inside of uh, inside of ArcGIS Online. Uh, I'm a big fan of this simple one here. Uh, it is one of the more complex ones that we offer out of the gate, but it uh, puts the title of the item across the bottom and then puts the type there. So it's an example of dynamic fields. 
anywhere where you see any of the uh, fields that have the uh, curly brace around it, you're going to have the actual content of the item put in that place. In this case, that's the title and the type. Or here, that would just be the type across the side, or just the title across the bottom, or the title across the bottom of a different bar. I can go through and I can add other elements, such as static images, text. I can go and draw my own circles. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to go here with this logo, and instead circle out that corner, I could easily do that by adding a static circle, and then messing with the layers the same way you would in Photoshop, or the same way you would in any uh, image editing software. Uh, the same thing here with the dynamics this is where you can go. If I, if I liked how this looked, but I wanted a dynamic item name, if I wanted the title to show up across the top, we could do that. Or the uh, item owner, I can even put it so the item owner shows up there. So really powerful tools there. Uh, we have the ability to uh, you know, edit the background color. We have the ability to edit all kinds of stuff. But right now for the first demo, I'm just going to take this simple one. And I'm going to go to the next page. And as you can see, uh, I, I have applied this to a great many of my uh, items, but not to all of them. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to grab these five items here, these admin tools, provision analysis that I've been working on. Oh, it looks like this one here has a broken thumbnail. So that's a perfect candidate, that file geodata gets right there. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to hit done. And what you're going to see is a wonderful addition that came about in uh, version 1.2 as well, but wasn't really highlighted in our notes, is we have a updated ability for you to see the actual items that are being worked on at any given time. So you can see if there is a trouble with any of the processes, uh, you can see exactly what all that, and that sticks on the screen until you hit OK. This once again was a, in response to user feedback, so that, that's some great new feedback that we had. So if I were to now, uh, let us say, go to browse items, and I'm going to write a query to take a look at all of my items so that we can easily find the, uh, the items I just applied the change to. Let's go here. Uh, what we're going to be able to do here is we're going to go and visit this item details page, and we're going to see uh, how that item details page looks compared to uh, the previous, uh, the previous uh, way that it was. So you can see here, uh, if you'll recall that file geodatabase, I kind of called it out earlier because it's had a broken, uh, broken thumbnail. So I'm gonna go to view details here, and I'm gonna take a look and see what that looks like now. Instead of that broken thumbnail, we should have a, a robust thumbnail that calls out the item type uh, across the top here, and then the title there. So. Um, you know, I've, I've interacted with a lot of organizations um, through, through my career and through uh, my position and my involvement with admin tools. And I'm going to tell you, a lot of organizations that we interact with, uh, they will at times uh, have a sprawl of content that's taking place. And uh, as you have more and more people that are entering your ArcGIS enterprise and entering your organization, you have more and more people generating content. And it can be really difficult to kind of enforce a, a good, clean looking organization. What's wonderful about this tool is as an administrator, you can go through, you can design these great templates for what your uh, thumbnail should look like. And then you can write a query to apply this to all the newly created stuff. You do that weekly or you know, you can do that daily or, or do it whenever you want. Just, just go into admin tools, engage with admin tools, uh, go and make that query. Uh, you know, select the items you want and apply these thumbnails to it. So I'm just going to go through, I'm going to have fun with another thumbnail here, uh, since we have plenty of time. I'm going to go through and show you, uh, you know, kind of we have the ability to turn on and off uh, various elements on, let's say, let's say, you know, you're like, David, man, I really like uh, how this one looked, but I don't want my organization thumbnail to be the bottom left. We'll just, just turn it off there, right? Or let's say, you know, now you're like, all right, well, I turned that off. And now uh, I, need to, I need to increase the height of this uh, particular, and we know that all thumbnails are 135 in height, so that's all I have to do there. And then if I wanted to take this and just drag it down so that all I have is the type on it, uh, I can easily do that. Now let's say I go, man, that's, that's starting to look how I want, but uh, I'm going to go through here, I'm going to take the static, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a rectangle, and I'm going to drag and drop that over there, and I'm going to add that to the palette. And I'm going to change its height, uh, let's say, to about 100. And I'm going to change its fill to be a solid white color. Let's go ahead and take that there. And there we go. And let's go ahead and apply that change. A couple other changes here. Let's move this over to an X of zero. And then I'm going to move 
move it on down. Once again, you know, you have the ability to, to reorder these layers however you see fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that one down there. And uh, actually, I tell you what, I'm gonna move it over uh, to the right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a dynamic element and I'm going to put the organization thumbnail back on in there. And I'm gonna put it in here. And I know I'm not making the prettiest of all possible um, thumbnails here, but it'll definitely show you that uh, it is dynamic and it is doing uh, you know, what I'm telling it to do here. So I'm just gonna put a giant logo uh, for GeoJo over there um, in, in the way of that dynamic background. And I realize this isn't necessarily uh, how you would exactly do this with uh, some of your content, but just showing you that this is purely dynamic. You can brand it up, you can do what you want with it. You can change these elements around. Um, so let's go ahead and apply that to these top three here. And there we go. Those thumbnails are applied. Uh, once again, you could write that query for whatever uh, items that you want to apply this to, however you want. Maybe you want to apply a new thumbnail to every item in a group. Uh, you could go ahead and do that, and uh, that's no big deal. So that's completely up to you. I'm going to uh, go ahead and I know one of them was my admin tools analysis. Well, let's just go ahead and refresh this page. And Next time we load it, we should have our new thumbnails there. And here we go. Uh, as the page loads up, uh, we're going to go ahead and see uh, which uh, particular items I applied my, uh, my thumbnail to here. You can see those three definitely pop out. Those are the ones I just applied the new uh, thumbnail with the giant GeoJob logo on it. So uh, these are excellent tools. Uh, it really empowers you as an administrator to be able to control what that branding of your organization looks like. It allows you, if you wanted to, you could take a nice clean thumbnail like the one that we have here and apply this across multiple, uh, you know, multiple items. Uh, you can even see here with uh, the web map type item, it gets a nice snapshot of that item and, and shows it there. Uh, so, you know, this is what's really going to empower you to have a well-branded, clean organization, and really take control of that. If you're engaging with, uh, particularly with the public, with open data, or you're engaging in, you know, with the ArcGIS Hub, with multiple other organizations uh, that are part of your business entity, and y'all are sharing information out to the public, uh, this is really, really powerful. It's something that, you know, I think that anyone who's doing that type of work uh, should be aware of and that they should be exploring using is the Advent Tools Thumbnail Generator. Uh, this is a tool that I know we've talked about for a while, and once again, a lot of our tools are uh, controlled by our recommendation from our user base, and this is one that, uh, that was asked for a good bit. So please, if you're an ArcGIS administrator and you're a user of, uh, of Admin Tools, use the Thumbnail Generator. If you're an ArcGIS administrator and you're not a user of Admin Tools, I highly recommend, uh, you know, you you come and you get a copy of Admin Tools Pro. Uh, Admin Tools Pro is only $500 a year. Uh, it's a great tool. It's used by uh, over 4,500 organizations globally uh, as of the time of this uh, webinar. Um, can't recommend it enough. Makes your life way easier as an administrator. And heck, I mean, just the ability to do this is worth the $500. Um, it, it's really, uh, all the other tools you get are excellent too. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into the other tools today, but uh, you're talking about 70 plus tools there, so that's a heck of a deal. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop back over to our presentation now, and uh, I'm going to open up with uh, a couple of ways that you can get in contact with us, and a couple of ways that uh, that you know we can continue this conversation if you'd like. So GeoJo will be attending several conferences coming up. We're going to be at the Ezra, Ezra Users Conference for 2018 in a couple of weeks. Uh, we're going to be at uh, GeoConnects uh, in Dallas, which is in November. That's the uh, utility and telecom conference. Uh, if you're in any of those industries, I highly recommend that you attend that conference. It's a great conference, a great time to get together with your peers and have some wonderful conversations in the utility and telecom space. Uh, then we'll be at the Esri Partner Conference and the Developer Summit. So if you're in Palm Springs in March, uh, please come see us. So that's the next four major uh, Esri conferences we'll be at. We'll be at a lot of other regional conferences, but if you're going to be at one of these big conferences, uh, please come see us, have that conversation. Uh, you can find all of our products on the ArcGIS Marketplace. And if you want to get in contact with us sooner than seeing us at a conference, uh, you can always connect with the group at connect at geo-job.com 
Or if you want to have a conversation with me directly, uh, dhanson at geo-job.com. Uh, our phone number is pretty easy to remember. It's uh, 1-844-GEOJOB. Our company name exactly lines up the phone number, so that's an easy one to uh, remember there. Uh, if you do have trouble finding the tools, they are featured across the top of the ArcGIS Marketplace, front and center. So uh, go to the ArcGIS Marketplace and take a look at it. And uh, if you're interested in learning more about GeoJob, visit our website, uh, which is geo-job.com, or uh, take a look at our Esri Partner Portal listing. Uh, it's a pretty robust listing that has a lot of great information about us on there. And uh, it's a great place where you can find out about other great Esri business partners and what they're doing.